Welcome back. Week 11, suicide fantasy football, telling you what you need to do with the running back position, Jim. And I'm starting with my pickups. These are guys that I've been looking at all year. And finally, it's coming to fruition. First, Jim, Jaquise Rogers. Michael Turner is looking slower and slower as the weeks go on. 13 rushes for 15 yards, and Jaquise is looking like the guy we thought he was going to be. He's so got moves like pick Jaquise. Him up. Pick him up. Pick yep. up Ronnie Hillman, too. Same reason. Willis McGahee also starting to come close to that cliff. You don't know whether he's going to go off or not, but if he does, Ronnie Hillman's a good play. My two pickups I got are deep leg pickups. Nobody totally obvious. Uh, I'm picking up Joaquin Bell in a, in a PPR league. I think Mike Lashour is is a, a third down, I'm not third down, a goal line back. I don't think he's going to get the catches out of the backfield. I think the Green Bay Packers have a big week this week against Detroit. They're going to be throwing the ball, trying to catch up, just like Marcel Reese did last week. I think he looks good. And I pick up as a as a, a deep, deep, keep your fingers crossed, Lance Dunbar. I think Felix Jones is not a healthy guy. He played almost the full game this week, which means odds are he doesn't finish the game this week coming up. Lance Dunbar looked good in spurts. If you're in a super deep leg and nobody's available, he's a name that I pick up and keep my fingers crossed that DeMarco Murray stays out for two weeks and he comes in. Also, check your waiver wire. Make sure someone didn't drop Beanie Wells or Cedric Benson. They're two guys that might be dropped that might be worth putting on your roster and storing them getting ready for the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. My personal that I am sitting this week at running back is either Vic Ballard or Donald Brown. Till I figure out who's healthy, who's getting the ball, what's going on there, especially with a matchup I don't like, I'm sitting both of them. And I'm sitting Rashad Jennings. He killed so many people in suicide fantasy football. You thought it was your last week or coming to the end because MJD's coming back. Against either way, either way, he's not going to get any points whether MJD's back or not. He's he's okay, but he's not a star running back. Thanks, so. Jim, for starting me in with my drop, which is Rashad Jennings. There you go. Drop him, dump him. You're never going to play him. Just wait for MJD to get back and be sorry you picked a bad handcuff. Yeah, and I'm dropping Shane Green. He, Danny Woodhead's getting uh, points out of the backfield there in New England. I had to stutter. I was so frustrated because we Even had all these Bolden guys. Even with having the drug problem? Still dropping for There's no way. The, Danny, Danny Woodhead's going to get the, the carries. Ridley's already established himself there. There's so much to go around. I'm dropping for All right. Love it. That's what we think about the running backs. Tell us what you think. Jim at SuicideFantasySports.com. Eric at SuicideFantasySports.com. Subscribe to our videos below. Check out Fantasy Football Overload. Sunday, 11.30 to 12.30 a.m. And then Monday, 8 to 9 p.m. Fantasy Football Overload, Blog Talk Radio. And don't forget to check out Suicide Fantasy Football.